All right, so this is gonna be Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading May May 18th. Oh my God, May 18th to May 24th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a, a private reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. There you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So that being set aside. Uh, let's move to the general reading of the week and the first card which represents the very topic of your week that is going to be wow well, look at that so we do have the ace of cups a, a great starter here to start the forecast for uh, the weeks followed by the energy of the ten of swords so we kind of like move from one extreme into another uh, and then what we do have it is the ten of cups that these are the challenges that you will have to face throughout the week and hopefully overcome that is moving to the gifts and the blessings that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week itself afterwards it is the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that is going to be the high priestess and the final card we do have for you aries which stands for the guidance the tower is offering um, that will be the Ace of Wands, so uh, quite a very colorful one it is what we do have here. Well, uh, <clears throat> without a, a doubt, um, this week many things are going to, uh, how can I say, change or take a, a different shape into your environment. Not necessarily things that you are agreed to, but for one or another reason, because you, you are to see no other way around it. Uh, it's like you are to resign about and... Um, say exert your influence or say do what it is necessary there to um force a new year into one's life because that that's what's all about here throughout the week so what we do have at the start are those couple of cards we do have the energies of the ten of swords and then it is at the uh, ace of cups which is the uh, situation so under those energies people were very tense because it's simply they just want the thing to, the, the, this this thing or endeavor or enterprise to to be over with okay they just want to get get over with it and move on with their life regardless of the of the old of the outcome or regardless of the consequences that are to happen after that therefore those energies are going to uh, make you do the final acts like final decisions, like final actions here and whatever happens, happens, you know, because anything that is to happen to finalize or to to set closure upon your, say, relationship or upon your, or, or oh my God, or upon your career, if you will, uh, it's better than just being sitting into limbo. So if you will, this week itself, it is where you traverse from a state of limbo and insecurity into state that at least I know what is happening and at least by knowing what is happening, I can take the adequate measures for it and uh, reciprocal repercussions. But that standpoint itself of you being ready to take, you know, the irrevocable decisions and to do the irreversible actions, it is a stage where many things which are very tense and which are, how can I say, a um, simply way too complicated are to break around and they simply no longer be a part of your life, if you will, and for that you are to reach a clearance from, from which clearance a new life is going to take place, which is signified here by the Ace of Cups. That is the very topic of your week. And uh, thanks to those energies of clearance and purge, a uh, Ace of Cups points that a new event or new enterprises are gonna happen for you they were waiting for you actually to to be ready for them as they have waited for you to clear the space needed so they can reside in and uh, the ace of cups while you can see in many books you know that ace of cups is about love that is a hundred percent true but not necessarily an intimate love uh, ace of cups is about the love for life itself and uh, what it signifies is that those new enterprises, those new events that are going to take place or new circumstances, if you will, you're going to love what is happening. You're simply going to be exuberated, uh, exuberated um, <clears throat> toward the, uh, the forming of the circumstances that is happening around you. 
and uh, as these new um, conditions unfold, I pray much many of your worries and uh, many of your concerns, if you will, that have been residing within the things which which have been left broken now throughout the week are no longer going to have an impact upon your life. So you can expect to lift off as well a, a heavy burden off your shoulders throughout this week, May 18th to May 20th, 24th, 2020. Then we move to the next one, which stands as the uh, challenges that you will have to overcome here, Aries. That is going to be the Ten of Cups. So the challenging wise, it is to understand people don't can't have all at at all time, all right. And sometimes you just need to settle for a uh, what makes you happy. And that is the week itself to uh, to understand that even if the things may have not turned your way because it's going to be different for every single one of you, you know, regardless of the outcome, any outcome is better than just sitting into limbo. And once you do have your outcome and these new things, you know, start taking place with the Ten of Cups, you need to learn to love them or that is going to be the challenge to kind of like understand that these are the circumstances, the events or the things that you need to feel yourself happy or to make yourself happy. And, uh, uh, Ten of Cups in many cases in, uh, does represent the uh, urge to always have more and that is a challenge that you need to succumb at that particular point uh, or kind of like a uh, sense that you need to succumb and subordinate um, uh, not allowing it to unfold because you really need to take your time to uh, develop these new circumstances or these new events or enterprises depending on what kind of a situation you're in. Uh, so next one, it is in regards to the gifts and the blessings that uh, you will get to enjoy throughout the week. That is the Seven of uh, Wands. And Seven of Wands pretty much gifts you with indestructibility, meaning that nothing and no one will be able to influence that new course of events. And or in other words, no one can ruin the good experience that you are going to have throughout the week. And as well, another gift and blessing on a more practical practical manner here is that uh, how can I say that you always gonna know what to do and when to do it and how to do it that's that's the awareness that you're gonna have and that's why we do have the next card here which represents the um, impression that people are gonna have in you that will be the um, high priestess so with the high priestess people truly gonna see you as a, a settling type of an, an individual in a sense of that you now are to uh, establish or you are establishing yourself to unfold the maximum potential of the things that you currently have okay and also um, it's very how can I say it's very difficult to describe the high priestess as an, an impression so people sees you as a high priestess right and a high priestess in either career or in either relationship it is a, about sitting into one place doing what you are supposed to do or what you have make up on your mind to do nothing less nothing more so um, that being said the impression is that you are not very active but in the same time that you are not allowing things to deteriorate or in other words the impression of the people around is going to be that you are a completely completely normal individual and normal person uh, and the last one here it regards to the guidance that Tara is offering so that will be the Ace of uh, Wands and you got to be open for everything new with the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands here points that those new circumstances or those new enterprises, are, all of them are going to be gaining for. And because we do have the Ten of Cups into the third position, you may not see it that way on the first glance all right, or, or on its initial stage. And for that reason, the card urges you to situate rather like to establish and give it a chance to unfold. Another thing about the Ace of Wands is that there could be as well way too many things that you need to tackle. And for that reason, probably you will have to make a decision here which one is more gaining for than the other. But all of them are going to be gaining for. And uh, if the Ace of Wands needs to guide you which one you are to choose from um, as an enterprise or as an endeavor moving forward, you got to choose those that will allow you to unfold skills or uh, experiences or knowledge that you don't have currently. Because there are cards in Tarot that tells you that you got to go with what you know, but this one tells you that you got to go with a new things, with new experiences.
Okay, so in one or another way this week, it's all about expansion for you Aries and hopefully uh, things are going to turn out very, very good for you. As a matter of fact, in order for you to screw this thing around, it takes an immense effort. Okay, just I don't see a way how you can get it wrong, unless, uh, <clears throat> except that you don't do anything about, you know, the new enterprises or the new um circumstances that are too important for you so that being said this was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and um, if you are interested in a private reading with me you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and uh, we may see each other around until then bye